hey everybody welcome to a brand new series on the channel you're like wait a second you just did that jevin yes it's a little confusing and i'm going to talk about that in just a second but before we get into today's episode let's go ahead and do our question of the day i am very curious as to what you guys think is your favorite series of mine on the channel what do you like what do you like the most that i've posted do you like Har like hermitcraft do you like one of the more old and modded series let me know down in the comment section below so let's talk about why things are episode 20 right now well this morning when i got up i checked youtube as i always do and i noticed that my hardcore episode was completely gone off youtube i checked my email no email correspondence from youtube or my network uh no community strikes no channel strikes the video is gone i i just don't know what happened to it so um I, I'm not sure if it has something to do with, say, maybe some word filters, like uh, hardcore being a trigger word. I'm not sure. So I am changing the name of this series to Let's Play Minecraft because I know that that's a safe title, as well as this is episode one. Again, I know, but we're not going to be doing episode one things because obviously we've already got gear. We're still playing hardcore. We're still playing the same world, and I've got big plans for today. So the reason why I came out here was because I want to go to the nether. You know, it takes a while to mine obsidian when you don't have enchantments. So I'm going to go to the nether today because I want to get some quartz in hopes to get uh, an enchant table set up because uh i want to build a pretty big mob grinder today and i oh okay jevin remember you don't have health regen uh speaking of before we go to the nether i'm gonna get some food together but i want to build a pretty big mob spawner i have no uh cobblestone at all and it's gonna be a lot of work to go mine it with just a basic pickaxe so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do enchanting first and then we're gonna work on that mob spawner another thing that i did was is i started working on smelting glass down i may actually get more um but there's a good bit in there already so i'm gonna get some health regen together i think do we have any golden apples uh do we have any gold uh, we do i may end up uh, making a few golden apples plus some stews i think so i'm gonna get that all together and we're gonna head to the nether so i've got more myself myself some four golden apples and then some stews and we should be good i don't think i'm gonna waste anything right now three hearts down is not the worst thing in the world oh guys we got a great spawn are you kidding me this is like the best spawn ever you want to know why because quartz is literally right here let's get it done but anywho i am going to collect that off camera because that's boring i just want to look and see what we have the absolute best outcome of this spawn could be another fortress right here if you've played any of the new uh minecraft you'll know that's not what i'm looking for uh nether fortresses are actually super super hard to find these days let's crank her up to 30 chunks guys so let's take a look around here see what we got uh looks like we get a pretty decent nether spawn the nether's actually gonna treat me nice for once in my life what the what what the fart is going on here that's right i said it i said it that's crazy okay it's already laggy let's turn that down some I don't know if I'm going to do a ton of exploring because, well, it is the nether and I don't really have health regen, which can get a little dicey. Um, I don't really see anything out that way, but we do have enough quartz to get what we need. I'm hoping. Plus, we can go down, I think. Let's check over here. Can we get down from over here? Or am I going to? I think I might actually have to bridge over to that one. Okay, that's not a problem. I can handle that. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do some quartz mining and uh i don't know if i'm gonna go over there just yet or not if i have to get more quartz i'll go over there but um solid spawn guys i am back from the nether i got the xp that i need i just don't have the diamonds so i thought i would try my luck at finding some treasure guys look how quaint this village is oh my god it's so snowy and beautiful and it's like right across the way from our place so the map is right over here um probably like right here it looks like let's go ahead and check under here come here treasure okay well it's not in any of those try over this side maybe no okay weird um let me get out of here from this way let me look at the map again let's try to get on top of this so you got to be like pretty much right on the center of it which is like this block right here so maybe this is it 
Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, no diamonds, but we got a lot of gold and that is fantastic. I like gold. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try again. Hopefully we can uh, maybe find some diamonds. So I finally found what I needed. Let's go ahead and get this all crafted up. So luckily I had found quite a few books. I'm not gonna really need to worry about um, bookshelves too much. We only needed 15 anyways. So we should be able to make an enchant table with uh, the enchantments, uh, the bookshelves and everything just fine. There we go. Awesome, let me grab some lapis. I'm gonna put it, I don't really wanna get rid of the tree to be honest with you. Maybe right here. Mm, we could probably get rid of that farm and just put it right next to the house. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. I'll just put it back here. Right here will do just fine for now because we're not going to be living in this village the entire time. Anyways, this is a temporary house until basically my thought process is the priority of my health. I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to live <laughs> and to do so I need enchantments and you know all that fancy stuff there we go <clears throat> okay so now that we have our enchant table finished set up done let's see what we got efficiency silk touch okay you know what that works because that means that we can build our spawner out of stone bricks rather than cobblestone now awesome so uh like i was mentioning i want to build the spawner today but i don't have any blocks but now that i've got this enchanted uh pickaxe i'm gonna go collect a bunch of stone so i'm gonna get that all taken care of and we'll get started on the spawner all right guys so it's been quite a bit of time i've been working on getting everything prepped for the mob spawner i'm excited because i think we are finally to that point i've collected quite a bit of stone and that is sort of the first thing that we're going to need to do we need to build a platform up here for the mob spawner so i want to talk about how this is going to work a little bit because we're using uh Nim Nim bombs. i can't ever say his name right uh it's weird how they how he says it one two three let's go four and then five but um his spawner has an afk platform above it now i'm gonna edit that a little bit because i want to do it a little bit different to where this is an xp farm rather than just a mob drop farm so if you think about the simple math oh let's take that off if you think about sort of the math of how this is gonna work um hmm what am i gonna i guess the shield's gotta go anyways um Mobs spawn 128 blocks from the player. Everybody knows that. So right now I am currently on level 170. That puts um, the base platform down there 128 blocks away. 64, uh, I consider the water to be a part of that. So 64 go down to about 40 at 128, Oops, about 170, we should be fine. Um, and then I'm just gonna make the drop from the spawner about 10 blocks. It, it, honestly, it probably wouldn't even need to be that much. But um, I think as long as we just keep the math in our favor, we should be fine. The only thing um, we the only thing we the uh, the only thing we really got to pay attention to is um, making the mob spawner stay within range of spawning for us. Because I think once you get past 48 blocks, the mobs stop moving, if I'm not mistaken. That could be wrong, but um, I think that will get us a very good spawner. So um, you're going to come up and then let's say that the, the landing zone for the mob spawner is going to be right here. Now, I know these hoppers are facing the wrong direction, but I just need to get a center point really fast. So three... And then because it's going to be a five by five landing there we go four and then do that there we go so that's going to be our center point and then i'm going to add a few more rows on the back for like enchanting and stuff like that um but now i'm going to go ahead and go into a time lapse because i want to build this spawner in one go and i'm going to need to go get more blocks and uh things like that and i also brought a bunch of glass because we're going to build that portion uh kind of working backwards so like just a quick recap we got our platform. This is where the mobs are gonna land and fall and die. From there, we're gonna go up probably 10 to 15 blocks. And then I'm gonna have another 20 
uh it'll be 10 layers too tall and it'll be like um a big shadow cast so i think it should be pretty easy um i may consider making a more in-depth tutorial of this later but So guys, we're on the final stages of this. We have just a little bit of work to do and I think we are good to go. So first things we gotta do is we gotta get the redstone up. So probably about seven on each side. I ran out of blocks, I'm pretty sure. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's go ahead and add probably two more there. So I've got a bunch of repeaters. Um, the first thing we have to start off with is a comparator. So comparator sits here. You turn that on and then you run these. There we go. These all need to be full delayed as well. So probably go back this way. All right, so I'm a little short, but I think I, the reason, I don't remember why I didn't make more like that. There we go. Probably just leave it like that. I think it'll be just fine for now. If we see an issue with a delay, then I'll fix it. But we should be good to go. And then add a block here. Uh, all right, let's do the full delay now. There we go. So once we flick this lever, uh, it's pretty much all systems go. I've got all the buckets in, everything like that is all good to go. This thing, I've, I've been working on this for probably four hours now. So lever, and then you also want to put a lever here to flood the platforms if you kind of need it. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, eh, you know what? Let's just go for it. So let's watch this and make sure everything is okay. So we hear water. Everything seems good there. Okay. So yeah, the clock is running just fine. It seems like make sure. Okay. Let's watch it. If I can, you can see a little bit. It was like, it's flooded. Mobs are falling in. So we're not getting mob spawns right now because I am far too close to the platforms. I'm like five blocks away from them. So I think it's time to jump down. All right. I hate these kind of jumps. Oh, they make my, like, I guess that would be vertigo. Makes my vertigo go crazy. All right. So now we get to climb up the massive ladder all the way back up to the platform. There we go. So uh, if everything is working fine, we should see some pretty insane mob spawns. There's no possible way for mobs to spawn underneath of us. Every, everything on the platform is dark. 
besides probably the bottom layer because of the torches on the platform the collection platform the mobs will i made the mob dropper 20 blocks so i mean i think i've accounted for everything uh i'm nervous because this is you know you're always nervous the first time you're using your own mob spawner so fingers crossed um when you come up the platform you have a wall there so there's nothing that can hit you um otherwise it would be pretty bad i think okay so oh yeah this seems to be working pretty good we do have to be careful let's not let the mobs attack us though okay so they it should be running full on now oh yeah oh yeah here they come oh my god this is perfect oh my god you know what the funny thing is right is that like our sword isn't enchanted yet so once we have a sword enchant this is gonna go so much better the faster we can move these mobs out of this area the better that it'll be the better rates it'll have plus we definitely want looting so about every 15 seconds you know what i you know what we should probably do to kind of make this thing work the best it possibly could we definitely need to get more redstone to lay up there maybe another four hoppers there we go oh yeah it's definitely working really good though did you imagine getting poisoned right now oh my god this is amazing so i need to get an enchant table up here add some redstone fixes every oh the spiders are killing me though spiders have always been doing that in this farm but the, it's just infinite it's it's literally just the best thing ever you just stand here and collect let's check out our loot here so yeah we we've, we've got pretty much everything we'll ever need now in terms of mob drops just got to make this thing maybe add a beacon for uh killing and uh enchant our sword which we can probably do right now there we go all right so let's uh let's jump down that is amazing guys i love that thing okay so uh we have no extra blocks right now though that kind of sucks all right that was totally worth the wait i am so happy that i built that thing today i knew coming into today's video that uh it was gonna be a challenge getting that done episode two um but luckily i got silk touch on my enchantment which made getting the stone brick really easy <laughs> The redstone crafting was easy. We had plenty of iron from the hoppers for the hoppers, I should say. So we are doing quite well for ourselves right now. So let's grab some lapis and do an enchant. Down here. All right. So you. Okay. Now let's see what we got. Something good, please. Sharpness three sharpness three knockback two that's not bad but hey it's gonna do guys so i think that's probably gonna do it for today's episode of let's play look at it from all its glory just wait till we can fly over there guys it's a mystical thing look at it it's beautiful okay anyways have a great day everybody peace out